Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you guys how to configure an IVR. Um, so let's start. Let's go over to the DID menu and click over IVR and create a new one. Here you can give a name to your IVR. It's up to you, it's just about identification. Select a user that is going to be the owner of that IVR. Um, this is also important because if you want to give the user the ability to use uh, or I mean change the configurations of that IVR you can give the user permission to add it in our permissions menu and he'll be able to configure his IVR instead of needing to ask you to configure it um, so here these settings here are all pretty straightforward about the working audio, not working audio. Simply select an audio from your PC and it's going to be uploaded and used in the IVR. Um, Magnus Billing supports uh, WAV files and GSM files. And I highly advise you guys to use GSM as there's no, uh, no worries about uh, encoding uh, I think it uh, it needs to be uh, 8, 8k uh, bit rate for the WAV to work but GSM it only needs to be converted we also advise the use of the software wave pad um, if you want to convert files and record but simply select those and upload it here in these options you can simply select what each number does and the default option and here we have multiple options and define SIP which you can select a SIP account uh, you can send to another IVR queue group number repeat everything that was said hang up the call or even custom so you can uh, type the custom command that you want his number to execute so it's up to you we also have the options for uh, when the, IV, the IVR configs here uh, are not included here in the this time. So when the person calls and you're not working, the person gets different options. That's the reason we also have two different audios to play. So this is pretty straightforward. So fill in the details, save and your IVR should be ready to go and use. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel and check our other videos.